In this video series, I'll teach you guys how I take my competition pieces all the way from concept to finish. Welcome back collectors, welcome to the competition painting series which I will take you guys all the way from how I create concepts, think about concepts and eventually building and executing the pieces. In this first video, I'm going to show you guys how I have a concept in my mind and how I create a draft so that I don't really need to build a concept in real life which saves a lot of time and let us begin. So this is my process. I already have all the assets individually cropped and cut out already. You can get this from the Warhammer website where you do the 360 turn and uh, assemble, the, assemble the miniatures at the angle where you want, to, want them to face. Okay. So say for example my Archigen Gu King. I've uh, angled him to do a sort of like a back sneak attack on and I'm beating a Lord Arcanum. So this is the result that I'm doing. So uh, it's also very important at this stage where I consider the atmosphere. While it might not be a properly painted or painted uh, printed background, uh, we must also think about how the environment is. And because the environment is sort of like a cave, a uh, cool environment, I'm going to have this... Uh, uh, ambient environment also affect the shadows uh, both for the Arch Region Gu King and the Lord Arcanum. Okay, so after going with the blue tin, I'm going to start working on the light source. So I want the staff to be the only light source during uh, for this diorama. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, create a light source right here. And then based on this light source, you can see what, uh, what areas are being affected. Say for example, the face of the AGK. So what I'm going to do is going to use an eraser to start emphasizing more on the areas that will be influenced by the light source. Also, uh, on the Dracoline, you will see some of the light source affecting the legs. I will do this. Okay, so what's the advantage of, what's the advantage of doing... Uh, this digitally is that you can have a rough feel of the model you can like try out colors so what I'm going to do is right now I'm just adding reflected light uh, going more towards a blue green area so for this um, what I find really beneficial is that I can test out colors I can see how they look even before I waste any time painting this is a very quick draft I did this in about say 20 minutes yeah it's not like super pro photoshop i just use the mouse to just move around to just make this work and so far i'm pretty happy with the results so if you guys uh notice um later what you what you guys will notice is that is that um i will be drastically changing all the colors because Right now, to me, this looks like a snow-filled cavern. What I'm trying to achieve would be more of an eerie uh, exploration kind of vibe. So, I'm going to just tweak the hue and saturation right here. Tweaking the hues. Because for me, I like to paint really subtly. I will also down the saturation at this point on time. As you can see, I'm making really drastic changes right now just to see the feel and to see whether this works and this is starting to work for me and I'm pretty happy with the result I'm gonna down the lightness for the background down the saturation slightly so narratively and digitally we've created a draft and a concept what next oh we're going to go into building so you can check out the videos about how I assemble miniatures and some of my power tool tips which will prepare you for the next steps. The next step will be starting to build this diorama. As you can see, the figure is already built, but how are we going to modify this to fit the concept that we just created back in Photoshop just now? Okay, so if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when we post the next videos. 
and share it with all your friends because this really helps the channel grow. And if you really want to support the channel, please head on to our Patreon. Patrons get early access to my tutorials to get interact with me and also some exclusive content about uh, some projects I'm working on. I hope you guys are interested to see the next video and I see you soon. See you.